Thanks, everybody. Actually, get my notes out. Okay, thanks, everybody. I want to give you a quick update on the uh, proposal process. You remember we were talking about Novani was going through a restructuring to clean up uh, its balance sheet from the past. I gave you the story of the. Um, I gave you the story of if you were working at say twenty dollars an hour and you you had a great year and you got promoted, you went to twenty five dollars an hour and that was all happy, except you still owed the bank five million dollars, so it didn't really help. That's kind of the story of Navani. <laughs> we're we're making money every month since I've been involved. Um, uh, that's been terrific. You guys are doing a good job, but we got millions of dollars of stuff from uh, from the past that needs to be uh, needs to be cleaned up. And uh, my job. My job is to make sure you guys have jobs and we are at zero risk of losing this uh, little battle that we're in. It's all going very well. <clears throat> you just have to remember that that uh, when I bought this company, I actually bought the bank. So I am the bank. There is no other bank. It's just me. So I own the bank and I, am the sh and I own the shares and, and the, the default position if we have problems with creditors is the bank takes over the company and creditors don't get anything, okay? That's not what we want to do. We're trying to work with the creditors and it looks to me like it's all going to go uh, perfect and there's not going to be a problem. But I want you guys to know from your perspective, because there's always rumors out in the marketplace, right? And the, the, the rep channel tries to say bad things about us and the competitors go around, try to say bad things about us. And I've had some suppliers come to me and say, ah, oh, I talked to some of your employees and uh, this and that, the other thing. Um, if this for some reason went entirely wrong, and I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even notice. Mm. <laughs> okay, you won't, we won't miss a day of production. There'll be zero issues that go along with it. Why? Because I'm the bank. And that's why I do this deal this way is so that you are protected and I'm protected. Having said that, our first meeting of our creditors is this Friday and uh, our creditors meeting is like a vote process. And, and you gotta get, I don't even know what the rules are, but you gotta have so many over a majority and everyone that we've received so far has been uh, in, in favor of our proposal. Um, the only people that uh, said they're going to vote against it is the next door neighbors. So, uh, that's with their lawsuit. Um, and this cleans us up. It's just good. It's 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 actually such an exciting process for Navani, um, so that we can move forward without the burdens of the past. What else did I have here? Um, don't be. If you hear rumors. Raise your hand if you've heard bad rumors about us, by the way, in this restructuring process. <laughs> Not bad, but yeah, rumors. Rumors, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the nature of business. And, you know, I had a conversation, an email conversation with uh, these wonderful people at McGill Transport <laughs> who are calling us all sorts of names and screaming and yelling. They're calling me a sleazeball. And, uh, you know, for all their back debt, this is just this is just business. If you lend money to a company and that company's not going to pay you, there's a choice. There's a choice. You can shut down. Everybody can lose their jobs, or you can invest more into it and you can turn it around. And you need to restructure the past. There's the choice. We're obviously moving forward. And like I said, there because I am the bank, there's zero risk to this. Okay, in the big picture, zero risk to production. Um, all right, supply chain. The, the restructuring process itself drives some supply chain, chain issues that you guys may have seen. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example of uh, FK, Frank, but, but they're not the only ones. There's been a couple. So I've said that, what I've tried to say to suppliers is, look, at, if, if you did business while I was involved in this company, I wanna pay you. I will pay you out of my own pocket. I'm not gonna pay stuff from like two years ago that someone up was somebody else's problem. I need to restructure that. But if you did business with me, I wanna pay you. And I can't pay you from Navani. Like I'm legally not allowed to pay you from Navani for everything since we filed on December 24th, but I'll pay you out of my own pocket. And so I would call people like FK who, what are they supplies with Frank? Uh, MRO stuff, grinding belts specifically, right. gloves. I said, you keep supplying us, keep giving us your credit terms. Keep, don't change your prices, right? Don't jack up your prices 40% because you know you think we're weak. And I will pay you 
that back stuff out of my own pocket. You know what they said to that? No. <laughs> We'd rather be subject to the proposal. Why did they say that? Well, they sent it to their lawyer and their lawyer raised 8 million issues and uh, they didn't agree to it. Now, will we make that up for them? Probably, probably. But in the meantime, they don't even want to sell to a COD, right? I'll pay you up front. Just ship us some grinder belts. So these things are going to happen. Like 90% that I talked to said, yeah, I'll, I'll take your money, Scott. The other people had objections. And so, you know, there's not much that I can do about that. These things happen. Um, but we're going to have minor or some supply disruption coming out of that. Frank is super stressed about grinder belts today, for example. And uh, we've been looking at alternative sources for that. Um, there is a worldwide shortage of shipping containers. And we get a bunch of stuff from China through our Taiwanese distributors, intermediaries, I don't know what they are. And um, it's hard to get shipping containers these days. And we're, you know, everybody in this industry, every industry that's bringing stuff from overseas is seeing that. And so, and then we had a shipping container. So we're delayed with shipping containers. And then we had a shipping container uh, stolen uh, in Vancouver and another one hung up in customs and so that stuff just is what it is it's getting sorted out uh, but there's been zero issues about paying for things like all those issues are gone but I know that from your perspective you're not seeing the you're not seeing the results of that having a bunch of product in the back so that you're seamless um, and then yeah so that was everything on supply day on uh, supply uh, issues um, Last time I was here, we spoke about you guys opening up and speaking to me about issues that you may have um, uh, or that you want to see changes in the company and that you need to support me, like help me help you, like the old Jerry Maguire thing, right? If you guys are remember that movie. Um, someone texted me anonymously and suggested that particularly during the time of COVID, doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense for you not to be paid any six days because you're encouraging people who aren't sure whether they're sick or not yet uh, just to, to come into work anyways. And I, I agree with that point of view. Uh, my understanding of the current policy is that we will, or not we will, the current policy is that you, you kind of have like a week of unpaid and then the the uh, 66 and two thirds, is that the right number, Frank? 66 and two thirds kicks in a week later. So thank you, whoever that was, who, who sent me that text message. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a trial run, okay, on this. And if it's abused, we're gonna stop doing it. The trial run is we're gonna give you starting uh, whenever you can get it done, which I assume will be tomorrow. Tomorrow works. Mm -hmm annually three paid uh, six days. So you can get three six days a year. You don't use them in the year, it just kind of the calendar resets. You don't have to explain yourself, you don't need a doctor's note, that sort of stuff. And was, we're gonna do this during COVID and then after COVID we'll, we'll revisit that situation, okay? Um, it's full pay and then you're gonna have theoretically then the other two days without pay and then you know on day six, working days, you'll get the two thirds, okay? But we're gonna give you the three days, and if you abuse it, we're gonna take it away. Well, what does abuse it mean? If I find that 100% of you had magically three sick days every year, that's not gonna go very well. If I find out that 100% of you happen to be sick the day before Thanksgiving, okay? <laughs> or, or on June 30th on a Friday, Sunday, okay, sunny day, okay? That's not what this is for. The concern, the concern from some others here in management has been that that's exactly what's gonna happen, okay? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. So starting now, you get three days a year, uh, sick days, full pay. Whoever uh, suggested that, uh, actually let me give you an opportunity to raise your hand if you wanna say you did that. Did that cover your concern? Yeah. Cool. See, see how easy that is? Feel free to talk to me. And that was just a text message. Just a text message. All right, uh, Cliff. Cliff joined us uh, Monday. 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 
as plant manager, Cliff's job is to run the back, okay? To run the back. And my dream in life is to give Cliff a schedule every day and he produces it every day, okay? That's the job. Uh, do you wanna do you want to say a couple words? Um, yeah, uh, he's walking through here. It was nice meeting everybody. Uh, my initial start in here and I've had chats with, with a lot of you and uh, I think we're all pretty much on the same page and we kind of want to get it back towards uh, a clean, organized facility where we can produce a product on time, good quality out the door uh, without having any delays. And I understand that there's some delays right now, but the new system is working, management is taking care of all that. So those should be alleviated, those concerns. And then as we start to progress, we can take each work cell, give it a redo, get it up to snuff, make it proud of something you come into work for every day. You come in here, a nice clean operating system makes your job a little easier, produce the product. And you guys are the key to that. You, you guys are the ones that are going to be informing me on how can, how can that be put better? How, how can we arrange this so things work better? Maybe not all ideas are going to work, but a lot of them I'm sure will come through and uh, we'll go from there and we'll take one step at a time and we'll put this uh, to be the leaders. Thank you. Okay, questions, comments? Anyone? Come on, we always have one or two questions. Uh, where I came from before, uh, we used to have the 32-hour uh, bank, basically paid holidays. People that didn't use the holidays basically didn't get the holiday. Yeah. So what they did in the, in the, in the, in the retrospect of all that is that if you didn't use those days, they actually paid you out at the end of the calendar year. For yeah, days. totally. Yeah. Yeah, and what they didn't let you do, and for sure, is they didn't let you um, carry those over and start accumulating them. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because that becomes a significant liability for the company that in fact, in fact can rank in priority to the bank. Mm -hmm. And you don't want that <laughs> when, you're, when you're a financial bank, because then the bank lends you less money. And so, yeah, absolutely. Are you suggesting we do something different? Or? Well, well, what they did was, uh they, they did an accumulation and they figured out that the person that actually took the days off with pay actually made more money than the person that actually went to work. So what they did at the end of the calendar year, they actually paid up, uh, they would give them a vacation day and a, a, a paid day on their paycheck. So they basically paid them up twice. Really? I can't see you doing that, but if we don't use the three days, if we basically lose them, right? Well, three days are for being sick. Right. But it's not a vacation day. So well, I see that as a whole different issue, right? right? But because because the, the point is, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. So let's say you wake up with a small fever this morning, like you're two degrees over. Now you're faced with the choice of, do I lose a day's pay or do I go in with a small fever? Maybe I can pass the temperature check. I don't want you to have that choice. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's that was the essence of it that I completely agree with. Okay. So I think they're different topics. Okay. I think the vacation pay is an interesting topic, though. Um, and, you know, because I think people need to take their vacations to be healthy. Um, I think we need to ensure that. I, and I don't know what our policy is. I'm going to have to deal with Angela and Frank on that in the future. Any other questions? Comments? What are we doing for PPE? Like FK? use the supply gloves, whatever. We have an alternative supplier for that now, right? Uh, we have a new supplier named Richter. Um, they were supposed to be delivering us gloves this week already. Uh, everything that FK had, they are able to provide to us. Okay. Um, so we had an initial shipment of some of the um, coated gloves that came in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the leather coated gloves are, are coming directly from their suppliers. If they don't carry it right now, they're shipping it to us directly from their supplier. Okay. Um, they're also supplying us the VSM grinding belts will come through Richter's as well as, as opposed to the grinding discs yes, as well. Discs as well. It just takes time for them to fill their supply chain so that we can get it here. Yeah. To alleviate some of that, they're shipping to us directly from their suppliers. Would you have the opportunity to be talking Friday? Yep. At uh, what time do you leave? Three o'clock. Three o'clock? Um, I'll have two minutes right now. Come to the boardroom when we're done. Okay, because then I gotta jump into court and do other stuff. Did you have something? Uh, yeah, will there be any like uh, layoffs or like no. shutdown because of like how the virus and how some companies are shutting down? 
I think companies companies are shutting down as far as I know for two, for two reasons. One is they're not essential or their revenue dropped. Our revenue's got up. So I don't see us having that risk. I mean, I don't control the pandemic or the world, so who the hell knows, but I don't see it as a real risk. No, no, and, and, suppliers and they're shutting down because of commodity shortages, yeah. particularly on steel. So what we've done on steel is we're trying to buy as much in advance as we can. We've uh, talked to two, Frank, two other suppliers. Uh, we've got two orders coming in from China now on steel. Like I'm not telling you that's a bulletproof um, solution, okay? And we're worried about it, but we don't have we don't have forecasted steel shortages at the moment, okay? And I'm also not telling you that if we're sitting here for three months with no steel, that we're just gonna you know not have to make some tough decisions on that. I don't see it happening, but it's a risk, yeah. yeah? Okay. But if it's a risk for us, it's a risk for everybody. Right? It's not like the other guys are buying steel that we're not. Like it's not. <laughs> Stainless steel mills in North America right now are running at 100% capacity. So we need to compete. We need to fight for our supply, which is what we're doing every day. Which is why we're not out of steel. But then getting it from China with the shipping container shortage, that becomes an issue as well. Right? And, and then there's, uh, if we're into the U.S., which we don't do much of, but there's duty issues and like, it's, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great, but we need to diversify our risk on this as best we can. Air Paul, right? <laughs> 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 my air Paul, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Um, I had a few people ask about uh, like reviews and raises and how they get, like we used to do a pay like how many jobs you do in your area you yeah 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 so we're gonna that hasn't really happened in the last couple of years so right we're gonna we're there. gonna talk about what we're gonna do for reviews this year we being the management okay. and then I'll, I'll let you know okay. um i like that system i talked to angela about it four months ago or so um but i knew that cliff was going to be coming in and i knew that he needs to be a, a serious part of that and we may not go from doing nothing to doing that full program this year I'm not saying we're not, I just think I don't know. Like sometimes it's way easier just to do a little bit of something. Um, okay, but there should always be outside of that sort of program, there should always be communications. So you know how you're doing and how you're, you know, all that sort of stuff, right? So I'm all over that. I, I, it's one of the most important things we can do. It only worked when we had enough people. Right now we're running, like we're running pretty much, we're actually short a couple of people, if you ask me. So to learn different jobs, you can't really. Yeah. You know. Like it's, yeah. I I think that what you're referring to specifically is the idea of getting a bump for cross training. Training, and I I don't know that that needs to be the only reason to get a bump. There's other performance metrics. So, so I, it's one of the reasons I'm I kind of resist really structural performance review systems that are tied to a specific metric. Um, you know, the ones that I do in my companies are much more. How was your energy? <laughs> you know, uh, how did you energize your teammates? Like that sort of, um, sort of broad judgmental type categories are the things that I tend to like. But you know, these guys have to have a lot of influence on that, so we have to have a discussion about it internally. Okay. Anything else? I was just wondering if I got your buddy sick in the morning, would you like call him about it? We will have an answer tomorrow morning. <laughs> Do you plan to be sick in the morning? <laughs> no. Nobody be sick until after Don't tomorrow. Start. Don't start. <laughs> right now, as a, as a quick answer, is extension two two one when you call into the office. That'll be my new extension. Uh, but she's here usually before everybody else. And she does check her voicemail. Is Cliff going to have a phone? Is Cliff going to have a phone? Maybe. <laughs> okay, what else? This has been terrific. I've never seen so many questions and conversation with you guys. You must all be happy. I like it. Okay, we're good. Thank you, everybody. Talk to you later.